Hello friends. Today we are doing another fragrance rotation. Spectacular. Immense. Um, this is for the week ending the 26th of December 2021. Doesn't time fly? Right. So we will start at the beginning as usual. And on Monday... I decided I would wear something that sticks out at the front of my collection like a sore thumb. And that is something I've worn a few times recently. Au Noir. I beg your pardon. Au Noir. I don't know if you can see that. Can you make out the writing? There you can, better there. Um, this is just what Au Noir is. It's a crazy perfume. Oh God, it's so good though. It's so mad. It's, it works brilliantly. It's like Frankenstein's monster. Just a gentle reminder that Frankenstein was the doctor, not the actual monster. Right. So. Someone's bonging me. This is Au Noir. Spectacular. Uh, lavender. Curry. Uh, star anise. Strawberry. Um, more lavender. Coffee. Like like a truly crazy gourmand fragrance that has no right to exist, yet does, and works, somehow. Um, it is brilliant. Absolutely shameful that they hide this away. Absolutely scandalous that they hide this away. I would love to know what the thinking is, so I could tell them that they were wrong. Um, the colour of the juice sort of says it all. It really is dark water. It's like dark green pond water. But it's so sharp. It's so, it's so impressive. God, it's almost fresh as well. The lavender gives it that sort of fresh. It's really impressive. Like it's totally like blue sky thinking sort of perfume. I hate those sort of middle management phrases, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's so different. It's It smells fresh and new and different, like even nearly 20 years after it was created. It's perfume, seven, 17 like years old, 18 years old, around that sort of age. Soon it'll be 20 years old. That's how numbers work. But I highly recommend you try and source some of this. I was extremely fortunate to get a bottle of this from a friend from Hawaii, young Bob. Thank you, Bob. Just, sorry, I'm just staring at it because it's amazing. Anyway, right. Next, on Tuesday, I wore something completely different, but sort of like on the same sort of, on the same sort of wavelength in that it's completely outrageous. It's completely mad, but it works still. And I'll just put the lid on. And that is Rien. I bought this bottle off a friend from Stocks. Uh, from Stocks. I bought this off a friend from Scotland. Stockland? That's not right. Scotland. It's Rien. Um, this is one of the newer bottles. Apparently because the cap. The captain used to have this crazy like. Like I don't know what that is. Embossing. It didn't have this crazy like print. It was just flat. Um, but this is still mental. Uh, two sprays of this at most, at most. It is just, it's an amber incense, like TCP alcohol detergent sort of madness, you know? If you know what TCP is, it smells a bit like that. It's brilliant though. Um, I used to wonder why people said this was an amber until I wore it uh, this week. Uh, God, it almost makes the, like, the, the front of your nostrils itch. Um, it has got a warmth to it as well, you know, like a fiery sort of warmth. Um, the same way that the cumin and the citrus combines in Eau de Hermes to give it that fiery sort of, you know, like hot, hot citrus. Um, except this is like an incense. It's so strange, but it's so good. It's so good. Um, I highly recommend you try it and stick with it. Try it a few times. If you get a sample, don't just get one. Get like three or four. And that was uh, 
I bought that off a friend called Alexander. Merry Christmas. Drac. I used to comment a lot and he doesn't anymore. I hope he's all right. Anyhow, on Wednesday, I wore Fumery Turk. This was a bit more back down to, it's a very strange thing to say about Serge Luton's, um, but this was back down to earth. Um, this is like a sweet tobacco sort of fragrance. I think this came out before Tobacco Vanille. So it's not a clone, but it is in that vein. Um, I absolutely love these bottles. They're very, they're very tactile. They're very ergonomic because of like the, the, like the, like the, the rounded corners. They feel great in the hand. I absolutely love them. Like, um, yeah, they're fantastic bottles, uh, especially compared to the new, like regular line bottles and you know, all like the new versions of the new versions of this. Um, because these were amazing bottles as well. Thin glass. They felt very delicate. They felt very, it felt very special when you'd pick one of these up. It still does, to be fair. But it feels very special when you pick one of these up to, um, to spray it. And this feels, this, this just makes it very easy to pick up and spray on. Once you've got this in your hand, you're like, oh, I don't want to put it back down. So to pick up another perfume, which wouldn't feel as nice in the hand. The rounded corners. Oh, oh, I really like that. Something I don't like about the leak bottles, you know, the Encre Noir bottles. They're very, they're fucking, er they're not ergonomic in the hand. It's like you've got to use two hands to spray them and they're, it's a bit of a pig. So we we'll like that. Anyway, the scent, powdery, powdery tobacco, soft, really nice. This would be really good on a date, I feel, because it's soft and inviting and warm and it's a little bit sweet. Uh, but not vanilla-y sweet, like a, like a, almost like a fruity tobacco sort of sweet. Um, this version is all right. Uh, the older version was better, but not not by much. Um, don't pay silly prices. The prices of those old Serge Luton's now are batshit. Um, they are better, but they're not that much better, if you know what I mean. Um, if you can find them for a good price, do buy them for a good price. Um, but don't buy them for the... Like, there's a bottle of... Oh, I swear to God, there's a bottle of feeling Aguil on uh, eBay at the minute going for 350 euros. 350 pounds or 350 euros. It's as near as makes no difference. And it's 50 mil of the old style. And it's like, what are you doing? So if you pay that, you're a pervert. So next, we'll move on. I saw this bottle. I've been eyeing it up for weeks thinking, God, I'm going to have to wear that, aren't I? Because um, you're outrageous and everybody talks about it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little bit let down with it. The performance was wank. Um, and I wasn't impressed. So I had to re reapply it a couple of times. Now, I'm not sure if this is the oldest old vintage or whether this is the second oldest vintage because it's made by Scannon. And this is Trussardi Womo. I like the fragrance. Very aromatic at the top. Very dry. Very aromatic. Very almost like um, almost like uh, starchy at the top. But it dries down really nice. Like a fresh Italian leather sort of fragrance. Very nice. Um, prefer small little pour on for that sort of thing. But this is really good. Uh, glad to have the tacky. Tacky Lancia Delta dashboard. As, um, as Scentland brilliantly put it. Um, if you've ever been inside a Lancia Delta and you know the dashboard, I mean, if you crash in one of those things, you, you, you're dead unless you've got a roll, unless you've got a roll cage in it, you are going to die because they're made of like, you remember Kit Kats when they used to come in the foil and like the foil would be like, like micron thick, like a few atoms thick, you know, um, that's, that's like the type of build quality that you're getting here. It's not pretty. Um, and yet it's just so outrageously taggy that it's that it works. Um, very dry, very dry, but like with like an oily quality. Still, it's hard to explain. Um, I shall have to wear it again. Obviously, I'll keep wearing it again. It might be the juniper. I think there's juniper in this, and juniper can be very dry. So that is what I wore on Thursday, on Friday, Christmas Eve. I went shopping, and I went since I was going out, and I was. I was feeling a little bit, a little bit mad uh, going out when there's like huge amounts of the the lurgy kicking about. So I decided to wear 
Balenciaga, I have let the brakes off this. I'm wearing this because of how many backups I've got. So I'm just wearing this freely now. Absolutely love the way the 100 mil feels in the hand. I should really be using the 50 mils first so I can save the 100 mil. But um, now I'm going to use this first. Absolutely love the stuff. One of my favourite perfumes ever. Um, maybe when I've been doing this for a while, I might do like a top a top 10 list of how many of like which perfumes that I absolutely love and stuff like that. So, and this will be right up there, right up there. I'll tell you. Um, yes. Anyway, Christmas day. Now for the last few years, every, every Christmas day, I have worn Araby by Serge Vuitton. And frankly, I haven't enjoyed it too sweet, too sweet for me. Um, like fruity sweet, you know, dates and stuff like that. Christmas cake, I think it smells like. Um, so I decided to break that tradition this year and go with something else. And I may have formed a new tradition. I might wear this every Christmas. Again, it's Serge Luton's. But this year I wore Feeling Aguil. I mentioned earlier in the video, I didn't pay batty prices for this. I paid no right price for this. Um, and as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I really like it. This one was a little bit of a partial. Uh, spoke to the lad that I bought it off actually the other day. Really nice kid. Um, excuse me whilst I hydrate. Love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Um, pine. Incense. Forest. Foresty smells. I looked up the blurb on it the other day. Apparently it's meant to smell like a pine forest in the summer, which I was like, I was gutted with because I was like, well, obviously fucking not, you know, um, <laughs> obviously not. I'm wearing it in the deepest of fucking winter, you know what I mean? Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Perfect Christmas scent, perfect winter scent, pine forest, evergreen, sap. Fruit, incense, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautifully blended as well. Um, and that is what I wore for Christmas Day. Today is Boxing Day, and this is my scent of the day. And this is a little bit strange. You wouldn't think I would be into this, but I remember the first time I smelled it in the department store. I actually paid full retail for this, which was a complete dick move, because I've cost myself about 40 quid. I could have waited for a while and got it on the discount. It's a much cheaper, but it's actually a Lamal flanker. And I do not like Lamal. I do not like Lamal at all. Don't like Lamal at all. But I love this one. This one's really good. And you'll see by the size of the dent. I got this a few years ago. Um, I really like this stuff. And this is Lamal Essence de Parfum or Essence Le Parfum. Something like that. Uh, Essence de Parfum. There you are. Just looking up his bum there for the information. Um, this is fantastic. Sweet. If you want a sweet perfume, like a mindless sweet perfume with all them synthetic chemicals in and stuff like that, this is it. But it's got the leather to sort of ground it and give it that sort of like roundedness. So it doesn't turn into like, it doesn't smell like diabetes. Um, so I really like this for like a sweet mindless perfume. I've been meaning to wear it for a long time. I need Eugene's, uh, I need Eugene's cloth, don't I? I think they are cloth. Eugene's colourful cloths. I'll have to get some of me on. Anyway, so that is what I wore on Christmas week. I will see if I can get them all into a picture for you. Well, I'm not sure I can. One of them is particularly wide. A wide boy. All right. And here he comes. Oh, God, you're taking up so much of a picture. He's thick. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to do it. Oops. Sorry about that. And... So this week, from Monday to Friday to Sunday, I wore Au Noir, Rien, Fumery Turk, Trussard de Womo, Balenciaga Poram, Fianagil, and La Mal Essence de Parfum. Fabulous. Hope you all had a nice Christmas. I will see you again next week with another fragrance rotation. Hopefully I'll be making some more videos this week. It's been a bit busy, so... You know what it's like. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye.